Hey guys, Joe Blue back again. So it appears the cheaters once again having to resort to the lowest of the lowest tactics in order to beat me because they can't fight fair. They are cheaters after all. Have reported me to Twitch and had me suspended on Twitch for two weeks for hate speech. Now, I didn't say anything hateful. I wasn't inciting hate. I was just joking around with basically the trolls that are in my chat. The topic came up about homosexuality and I sort of, you know, spoke in jest about my opinions of homosexuality basically boiling down to the logical truth that I don't like homosexuality because if I did then I would be gay that's the punchline of the joke it is a joke it's a joke that I've used many a times off stream that is the truth but it is intended as a it sounds bad but it's not really it's just the actual reality that in this day and age seems controversial or offensive but really it is just boils down to the truth um, homosexuality largely is a preference and if you don't like something, you generally don't do the things that you don't like. So there's nothing offensive in it at all. I will be playing some excerpts of the stream so that you can see what was said. I'm going to comment it out afterwards and I'm going to go over the Twitch appeal. And then at the end, I'm just going to play the entirety of the stream from when this issue started all the way to the end so that if anybody wants to, they can see all of the evidence for themselves. But I've not cherry picked anything. I've not deleted anything or altered anything in any way. So I'm going to play those excerpts first of the entire situation in a condensed form and then we'll pick this back up again and talk about what has happened from, 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 from i could make the argument that because you're a jungle head and a drum and bass fan you've been to a lot of dnb concerts and fucked your hearing up so even though that you're younger than me your hearing's all fucked because you've been listening to you've been going to too many jungle raves in it and you just you're blowing your eardrums out like your age doesn't necessarily mean your hearing's better than mine like theoretically on paper yeah sure Yeah, that's because you already fucked your hearing. So now you wear earplugs, isn't it? Because you already fucked your hearing, isn't it? Yeah, shaped like dicks. You you put like your little earplugs in, shaped like dicks, into your into your ears, isn't it? <laughs> you got your dick plugs in your ears, mate. You stick them right in. <laughs> hey man, whatever floats your boat, man. Like you know, what I'm saying, like if you if you like dicks, man, that's your thing, isn't it? I don't agree with it, but like you know, you can do whatever you want, isn't it? It's your life. Now I'm not homophobic. I'm against homosexuality, but if if you want to be gay, that's your prerogative. You can do that. I'm not stopping you. It's like a preference thing though, isn't it? It's like, um, it's like a preference thing with the homosexuality thing. It's like, it's like if people say like, oh, you know, you know, I don't, I don't, like you like, like chocolate ice cream. And I'm like, I don't like chocolate ice cream. Like I'm against chocolate ice cream, but like, if you want to eat chocolate ice cream, like be my guest, that's your thing. I'm not going to stop you from doing it. Homosexuality, it's like that, isn't it? It's like, you know, you might like the film Titanic and I might think, the film Titanic's a bit gay in it, and if you watch it, it makes you a bit gay because you watch Titanic. But if you want to watch it, it's your thing. It's your thing. But I might make fun of you for watching Titanic. But it doesn't mean that I, I'm against you. Like, you can do what you want. Okay, so I just want to clarify a few things here. So all these things that I'm saying here, these are all jokes. I'm, I'm joking here. The references to chocolate ice cream for obvious reasons. The film Titanic, which is generally considered to be a more feminine film, right? I don't particularly like the film. And some people who are more, you know, ignorant minded might say that's a gay film. And I'm kind of doing like a, like a double, not like a double entendre, but like a, I'm talking about homosexuality and my dislike about it, using it to a preference and then kind of trolling by saying, Saying, because that film's kind of gay in it it's like as a joke as I'm, I'm playing with different meanings like the colloquial meaning of the word gay to mean something is bad from more you know a time gone past where people just used to say things are gay and I'm playing into that ignorance by specifically choosing the film Titanic and saying that's a bit gay to argue about preferences about it's like a preference like a film you like and like you don't like and I see it like that and it's intended as a as a joke but it's like I'm being ironic the joke is I'm trying to defend myself about homosexuality whilst being like 
ignorant about homosexuality at the same time like that's the joke right that's what i was going for when i when i made that comment i'm not saying anything hateful here i'm just playing around i'm just fannying around and then when i say you know i'm not against you you can do what you like when i say i'm against homosexuality i'm against homosexuality but i'm not against you as a person i'm not against you i don't support homosexuality because it's something that i don't like so i'm not going to advocate for it so therefore i'm against it i'm opposed against it but i'm not opposed to you, uh, to your freedom. I don't treat you any less of a human being. I don't hate you for being gay. I should probably interject here. You know, I, I'm not a, I don't belong to a formal religion, but I do believe in some of the principles of the Bible or the commandments and stuff like that. You know, the idea is that homosexuality is considered a sin because it's an act of sodomy. The act of sodomy is any sexual act that does not result in reproduction is sodomy. Sodomy is, is death, biblically speaking. And so the general practice of the Bible is, is that the, the wages of sin is death in, in biblical terms like you deserve death if you sin that is the general idea it is referred to in the bible that if you are homosexual you deserve death like all the other sinners but this is not exclusive to homosexuality right the wages of, of sin is death so this goes for masturbation it goes for premarital sex it goes for sex for pleasure between heterosexual couples it's all under the same bracket as homosexuality there's no distinction in the bible it is all sexual immorality there's no one that is worse or lesser than the other you know, i myself have committed the these sins in my life I'm no better than the homosexuals so I don't hate a homosexual any more than I hate myself it's all equal it's the same sin so I don't hate people for being homosexual but I disagree with it I disagree with masturbation I disagree with premarital sex I disagree with sex for pleasure even though I do want these things for myself these are things that you fight against in this life that we live right we, we try to be better and do the right thing and that's why I'm trying to appeal to but I'm not um, advocating for the hate of homosexuals I don't see it as any worse than any other sexual immorality in that regards but anyway I'll carry on with the excerpts from here see what I'm saying It's like, you know what I mean? So if you want to be gay, like, it's your prerogative. Like, I don't support it, like, I'm against it. But I support your freedom to be gay. That's like, your choice, you know what I'm saying? Nobody knows what I'm saying, right? Okay, whatever. <sighs> you legitimately, legitimately reporting you to Twitch for saying you're against homosexuality. Like, I'm not. Like, like, it's a preference thing, isn't it? Like, if I, look. If I liked homosexuality, I'd be gay, innit? Like, I clearly don't like homosexuality. Therefore, I, I, don't, I don't like gays. I don't like gayness, innit? Because if I was, then I'd be gay, innit? If I liked homosexuality, I'd be gay. <clears throat> but I don't like it. Just like I don't like the film Titanic. <laughs> so, like, if I don't like the film Titanic, I don't hate you as a person for liking Titanic. Right? You can do what you want if you want to watch Titanic. But it is a bit gay if you watch Titanic, you know what I'm saying, bro? I'm the same, the same, the same, bro, innit? Like, it's a preference thing, innit? It's a preference. I don't like homosexuality. If I did, I'd be gay. I'd love dick. I'd love it if I, if I was gay. If I liked gay, I'd love dick, innit? I don't. So I don't like homosexuality. So how can I be for something I don't like? That'd be like saying I'm for murder. Like, what I'm saying is perfectly reasonable. You don't like freedom of speech, but you support it. Then you're a hypocrite. You understand it's important, but you don't support it. I don't like the use of it. Well, like, then don't support it. Because it makes you a hypocrite otherwise, doesn't it? You're literally like supporting the thing that you don't like and you're complaining about. It's a basic right that you don't support, that you don't want people to have. Um, you can't make this up like what what's what's wrong with it? Why 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 do I have to be forced to like like um gayness? Why do why am I forced to like it? You're saying that I'm not allowed to dislike homosexuality. But well, you're okay to like not like freedom of speech. Where's this other body? Like I'm I'm free to like and dislike things. 
But I, I support freedom. I support if you want to be gay, fine. You do what you want to do. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can do whatever you want to do. I'm going to support you doing it. But only on a basis of freedom, I'm, I will advocate against homosexuality where possible. There's like anything that's bad for society in general. Because if everybody was gay, humanity would be extinct. Simple as that. Where did the guy die? Clipped again. Like, you can clip me as much as you want. It's the truth, isn't it? Just remember that when you're clipping me, can you put the full context in and then straw man me? What is the truth? The truth is, is Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, innit? <laughs> That's the truth, innit, bro? <laughs> and that's pretty much it. That was basically all that was said. The conversation carried on for a little bit, but it wasn't really anything specifically related to that. I will play the full clip of everything so you can see what happened afterwards and uh, check that I've not, like, missed anything out or said anything or altered anything in any way. Basically, I'm just joking around here. Like, these are clearly just jokes. When people ask me, you know, what's the truth? And it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. I mean, it's an Alan Partridge reference. But it's just like, I'm arguing with trolls that are just trying to, you know, get a rise out of me and, and play with me that I'm homophobic and they're going to report me to Twitch like so i'm just like i'm just trolling it man i'm just like i'm just like you know what i mean it's like i'm not really taking it that seriously because i'm not committing a hate speech i'm not committing any hate crimes here i'm just having an opinion that is perfectly reasonable and allowed under freedom of speech in it like freedom of speech freedom of expression like i don't have to like everything that everybody does but we tolerate the things that we don't like that's what we do we are tolerant people we tolerate things that sometimes that we don't necessarily like or condone but anyway i want to move on to the eel anyway so after i ended the stream i went to go and put the uh, air fryer on to go and make some food and uh, came back and then i went to go and check my channel just to see that the, the stream had gone out or whatever and it was still there and saved and whatnot and i saw that my channel had been removed from my other twitch channel my other twitch account my account has been removed from my subscribed followed channels so I thought, obviously that's just, that's pretty bad when i clicked on it it said this account no longer exists or the video is unavailable so i went and signed in to my email address and saw that there was an email saying I've been temporarily suspended for 14 days and of course there was a, a place to appeal against this so I decided to appeal against it. Now we're going to show a few things here. Okay so um, I'll edit some of this out so I don't like dox myself or whatnot but um, I'm going to zoom in here and they're going to show you my uh, um, basically it's showing my my emails or whatever that I have on my account for, for Twitch and uh, you see here I got the uh, message here your Twitch account, Joe Blue the Anti-Cheater, has been temporarily suspended. I got this at around about 20 past 8. I then tried to follow the appeal to then log in to my uh, Twitch account. I had to, this was a bit of a back and forth process. I had to go through different browsers because it was trying to log me in. I was trying to go through the I was trying to go through the browser that I was in, which was going to another account which wasn't suspended. So the appeal portal wasn't working properly. I had to go to a different browser. Log into my Twitch. I had to get the Twitch verification code. This is me getting the Twitch login verification verification code here so that I can log in to my Twitch account on this computer as it's already pre-logged in on my other computer. So I got this login to Twitch at half past eight. So around, you know, 10 minutes later. So then from there, I then go to the appeal portal and there I type out my appeal. What happened? So I basically explain logically that this is just the back and forth dynamic of the debate I was in with people in my chat about cheaters and so forth and went on to say that some of these people in my chat are cheaters, some of which I've exposed on my channel for cheating. And so they're doing this really just to get me suspended that's what they're that's what they're doing that's their intent that's their purpose but i have not said anything hateful and hopefully you will review what has happened in my stream and determine the same outcome that there's nothing hateful being said essentially that's the thing that i said i don't have it any reference of the things that i said here because it was in a i should have recorded it but i didn't but i, I sent that that probably took me about 10 15 minutes right to type that out and then check it proofread it edit maybe change a few words here and there and make sure it you know sounds right or whatever so i spent you know a little while you know making sure it's it sounded right okay and then i put the appeal in and then if you say 10 or 15 minutes pretty much around 15 to 20 minutes later they give me an update on my appeal 
and I got a screenshot of it here and it says, Hello, Joe Blue, the anti-cheater. Your account was recently suspended for hateful conduct. A member of our team has review reviewed your appeal and after taking a look into the details of your case, we have determined that your account will remain suspended due to violation of our community guidelines. Note attempting to evade restrictions placed on your account may result in additional penalties up to and including indefinite suspension. Make sure to stay informed by familiarizing yourself with our terms of service and community guidelines. If you reside in the European Union, please review our Digital Services Act, ESA Help Aid, for additional information. Sincerely, Twitch. Okay. Now, if they had, as they had said, reviewed the details, how come this only took them 15 minutes, 20 minutes, if you round it up a little bit? So it took them basically 20 minutes to go through where that clip was, all the way through my clip to ensure that no hateful speech was actually said to determine the validity of my appeal. So here, here is the video, and this is of me recording the where the instance basically started up until where the stream ended, right? So here's me putting some, uh, telling some dudes some stream settings and we go forward a bit and then I'm going to this bit here and then thanks for watching. That's the end of the stream right there. The rest is just email stuff that I've recorded for this video. So that's 26 minutes. It would have taken a Twitch user at least 26 minutes to watch it from where the offense began to watch the rest of the entirety of the stream to ensure that no offense had been committed anywhere along the lines, right? And then you would have to at least have some time to deliberate and actually make a decision. They couldn't have possibly have seen all the details and made this honestly in 20 minutes from when I put the appeal in to 20 minutes later upholding the suspension. That they could not have possibly have looked at the details as they claimed. Did they point to a specific instance of where I committed a hate speech? No, not at all. Nowhere. I mean, you can, by all means, in the comment section, state where the hate speech was, where the hateful conduct was. There was, there was no hate anywhere and they can't even quote an example of me making it in my appeal. Now, how can it be an appeal if I appeal against it and then when they uphold the suspension, they can not give me a clear reason for the suspension. They're just going to suspend me. Tell me that it's valid, but can't provide me the proof. And we've been around this before with Steam support, when cheaters have reported me for calling them a cheater, and I've been banned wrongfully by Steam. This has happened many times, many, many more times that I haven't reported on. In fact, I have all of the instances, all of the chat logs, all of the forum comments, all of the back and forth between Steam support, where they have wrongfully banned me multiple times for calling people a cheater, where people like Loctar called me a cheater, and they remained unbanned while some simultaneously getting me banned and that same person locked off is also in the chat in this stream and therefore he's also a prime suspect for reporting me to twitch to get me banned because he does this all the time he tries to get me banned and suspended well whatever i do all of the time and how can you be on the right side of being true that what you claim about me is real and true if you have to resort to these methods to get rid of me or shut me up or silence me to take these actions proves i'm right but the more sinister thing here is why is it that twitch and steam support support these trolls and allow them to commit these crimes essentially against people like me and then when you appeal against it they ignore your appeal and they uphold the claims even though they don't have any evidence to support what they're saying it's like a conspiracy against people who dare to speak the truth or dare to oppose the current climate of things there's nothing righteous going on here this is a wrongful suspension and it's being conducted by people who oppose me people who are cheaters the fact that i've been suspended validates the things that I say are true. They have to get me suspended because it's all they can do. And they seem to have Twitch and Steam, all of these companies, all of these entities, seemingly acting as a weapon for these trolls and cheaters to enact against the people who dare stand against them. That's what it seems like. I've had this for over a year with Steam constantly banning me from forums for not doing anything, being banned from Reddit for exposing cheaters. Like everywhere I go to expose cheaters, they try to find a way to ban me or silence me. And when the, the, the trolls and the haters and the cheaters try to make reports about the things that I do, they just make a claim like it's hate speech. And then these companies like Twitch and Steam, they just uphold it with seemingly with no investigation to the details. They could not have possibly in 20 minutes from when I put the appeal in, got the appeal. How long did it take them to get the appeal and have somebody read the appeal, then go through the 26 minutes of footage, determine that whether or not something hateful had happened, then deliberate on what they have just seen and then making their decision could not have possibly have happened in 20 minutes if they were honestly viewing my appeal honestly like clearly they're not clearly they have a bias for some reason to uphold this suspension when it's clearly wrongful to do so so you're really gonna have to start asking the questions why these companies seem to allow these trolls to use them as a weapon to keep people like me 
suppressed. But that's pretty much it. There's not really much else to say. This is clearly a wrongful ban. I'm now going to play the rest of the clip uh, of the stream in, the, in its entirety for anybody that wants to check, but it's really just there for evidence sake. And once again, it just proves that I'm right. The cheaters wouldn't have to do this if they had actual arguments against me. If they could just prove I was wrong, they would be making endless videos just going, Joe Blue is absolutely wrong and that would be it. But they can't do that. So they have to resort to getting me banned and suspended under completely false claims. There's no hate speech here. There's no hateful conduct that was happening here. This is a completely wrongful suspension and Twitch should be ashamed of themselves for supporting trolls to essentially bully me, which is what is happening. They're basically bullying me and they're using entities like Twitch, like Steam, like Red it to bully people that's pretty much it guys i will be obviously streaming for the next two weeks on youtube only until i'm unsuspended on twitch and there'll be a another hunt showdown video on the monday and you know the usual routine will carry on there just won't be any streaming on twitch for another 14 days so take care guys laters peace gg it's like a preference thing though isn't it it's like um it's like a preference thing with the homosexuality thing it's like it's like if people say like oh you know you know, I don't, I don't, like, you like, like, chocolate ice cream, and I'm like, I don't like chocolate ice cream. Like, I'm against chocolate ice cream, but, like, if you want to eat chocolate ice cream, like, be my guest, that's your thing. I'm not going to stop you from doing it. Homosexuality, it's like that, innit? It's like, you know, you might like the film Titanic, and I might think the film Titanic's a bit gay, innit? And if you watch it, it makes you a bit gay because you watch Titanic, but if you want to watch it, it's your thing, it's your thing. But I might make fun of you for watching Titanic. But it doesn't mean that I, I'm against you. Like, you can do what you want. See what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, if you want to be gay, like, it's your prerogative. Like, I don't support it. Like, I'm against it. But I support your freedom to be gay. That's your choice. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows what I'm saying. Right, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a player for a second, it's just a grunt. Legitimately, legitimately reporting you to Twitch for saying you're against homosexuality. Like, I'm not. Like, like it's a preference thing, isn't it? Like, if I, look, if I liked homosexuality, I'd be gay, innit? Like, I clearly don't like homosexuality. Therefore, I, I, don't, I don't like gays. I don't like gayness, innit? Because if I was, then I'd be gay, innit? If I liked homosexuality, I'd be gay. <clears throat> but I don't like it. Just like I don't like the film Titanic. <laughs> so like, if I don't like the film Titanic, I don't hate you as a person for liking Titanic, right? You can do what you want if you want to watch Titanic. But it is a bit gay if you watch Titanic, you know what I'm saying, bro? I'm the same, the same, the same, bro, innit? Like, it's a preference thing, innit? It's a preference. I don't like homosexuality. If I did, I'd be gay. I'd love dick. I'd love it if I if I was gay. If I liked gay, I'd love dick, innit? I don't. So I don't like homosexuality. So how can I be for something I don't like? That'd be like saying I'm for murder. Like what I'm saying is perfectly reasonable.
you don't like freedom of speech but you support it, then you're a hypocrite. Then, then you're a hypocrite. You understand it's important, but you don't support it. I don't like the use of it. Well, like, then don't support it. Because it makes you a hypocrite otherwise, doesn't it? You're literally, like, supporting the thing that you don't like and you're complaining about. It's a basic right that you don't support that you don't want people to have. Someone just died? Fucking get this fucker over with, innit? Oh, it's nearly dead as well, shit. Fuck, oh, I wasted that sticky. Should have checked his health, innit? I don't think it was that low, innit? Oh, he got killed by the, by the hunt, by the. Got killed by the uh, the fucking armor there. That's unfortunate, isn't it? No kills for me though. You can't make this up. Like, what? What's? What's wrong with it? Why? 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 Why have to be forced to like, like, um, gayness? Why do? Why am I forced to like it? You're saying that I'm not allowed to dislike homosexuality, but you're okay to like not like freedom of speech. Where's this other body? Like, I'm I'm free to like and dislike things, but I I support freedom. I support. If you want to be gay, fine, you do what you want to do. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can do whatever you want to do. I'm going to support you doing it, but only on a basis of freedom. I'm, I will advocate against homosexuality where possible. Just like anything that's bad for society in general. Because if everybody was gay, humanity would be extinct. Simple as that. Where did the guy die? Clipped again, like you can clip me as much as you want, it's the truth, isn't it? Oh, is this dead body there? No. Just remember that when you're clipping me, can you put the full context in and then straw man me? What is the truth? The truth is, is Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, innit? <laughs> That's the truth, innit, bro? <laughs> Where'd this person die, man? Need witness, mate. Thought it would have died around here, because this is where the uh, where uh, the where it was hanging around, isn't it? What is that? Interact. Ask oh, down. Okay, whatever. 
Um, let's go to the uh, clue, get the master clue or the, the big reg. Are you religious? Uh, I don't belong to any formal religion, but I... Uh, I know that God is real. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I told you, like, I, I died, man. I died and I went into a coma for a month, man. And, um, well, you know, I didn't go to a nice place for a month, innit? I was in a bad place for a month. I was held captive somewhere else for a month. When I was in a coma. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I was in a coma, yeah. Um, like a couple years ago. Nope, it's not DMT, my friend. I can't explain it, I can't talk about it, but there's things that happen that, um, that um, can't be explained by DMT, innit? Probably about a couple of years ago, two, two and a half, maybe, I don't know. I can't, I don't remember the date. There. They're over there. Banish him. Don't exactly have a lot of ammo. Let's go back and get okay, ammo. Right. Um, you weren't held captive. Oh yeah. How would you know? Like. <laughs> it's like already. Like, I'm telling you a personal experience that I experienced. And you're already telling me what my experience wasn't and telling me what it is and what wasn't. It sounds a lot like DMT, but it's not because things happened in there that I had information given to me or there was things that happened, information that could only, I didn't know that I found out to be true. I can't explain any more than that. I'm not discrediting people's experiences. Um, mm, let's go to the wagon over here. I'm gonna run over, get that wagon to get um, sure for. So I think if I'm gonna get close, so maybe I can make it. A, maybe I can capitalize off this. Oh, I'm going in. I'm going in. <laughs> GG's, guys. Let's not hang around for these cockheads. Easy snatch and grab.
Uh, Joe, what are your stream settings? Quality is really good. What on, um... <laughs> Um, like 8,000 KB, uh, 1080p, I've got the uh, down sampling on. I'll show you afterwards, and I'll show you the sound. Silent Hill 2 come out tomorrow? Is that on PC or is it just a, is that a console release? Early access. Early access for Silent Hill 2. I guess they're just trying to uh, charge people a premium for, uh, for early access. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, these are these are my stream settings here, right? This is the video. You could use a better, like if you're just streaming just to Twitch by itself, you there is a better um, codec option that you can choose. But I can't do that because I'm streaming to YouTube at the same time using Restream, and Restream isn't allowed. The other, uh, am I? Oh, what's going on? Oh my um. Oh, it's because I've got the settings window up. It won't let me uh, change scenes. Uh, so, uh, here, so there is another codec you can use here on the drop down, but I can't use it because I'm, uh, I'm using Restream, so I can't, it does, they don't allow the better NVIDIA codec, but these are the, the stream settings here. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I mean, you, you could use, I mean, 8,000 is like the limit, but I believe like, I'm not even sure I'm using this 8,000 KB because, um, if you go to here, I haven't got this setting ticked, ignore streaming service setting recommendations and Twitch will, um, force 6,000 KBS. I've only got it to 8,000 here because I'm hoping it makes the YouTube stream a little bit better quality, isn't it? Um, um, I mean, I am using some of the settings that Locked Heart suggested. It's just that I don't see the benefit in changing this to 6,000 to 8,000. I don't see the difference. Yeah, but surely 8K is still better than 6K, right? Like, it might not, it's still going to be a little bit better, right? So I also have, um, yeah, I have that down sampling. So I play at 1440p and I'm, and I'm down sampling to 1080p and I'm using this Lanxos. Um, scaling, which is like the best sort of rescaler to make it look as sharp as possible when you're downscaling back down to 1080p from 1440p. <clears throat> yeah, you can do that, but um, yeah, but the the problem the problem is that when I do the 936p 60p to Twitch, it defaults to 720p on YouTube. 
Yeah, but you're using um, you're using you're not using Restream though, and I can't I can't use the um, OTP BS whatever it is that you use. You're 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 sending two different streams, one to YouTube and one to Twitch. Yeah, I don't I don't have enough bandwidth to do what you're doing, so I have to make use with the bandwidth I do have. So in order to maximize, you know, comparative quality across different platforms, I, I stream at 1080p. I don't have the bandwidth for your way of doing it. You can still mainstream to YouTube and then have Restream fix the descaling. I'm not sure how that would work. But it's fine, you know what I'm saying? It, it works, so like, I'm not, it's not a, a problem. Whoops. Don't do that. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go now anyway, because uh, I've gone well over. You only need a bandwidth that can handle 18,000 bitrate. Um, it's fine, man. Like, it works, man. Yeah, yeah. YouTube, YouTube's also doing this thing now. I thought it was just like just me, but YouTube's also doing this thing that after you've live streamed to YouTube, um, after about an hour of the stream is finished, they downgrade your stream to thirty FPS. Um, so you can't even go back and watch the uh, live streams at sixty FPS. And um, this has been happening for the past twelve days. I thought it was just me, but. It seems to be happening on other content creators as well. When I've checked their live streams, you go back to about 12 days and all of a sudden YouTube has been uh, clamping all of the all of the videos to 30 FPS. I don't know. When I when I messaged YouTube over on Twitter, on X, they just gave me some nonsense about, oh, it takes a long time to process the 60 FPS. I'm like, it's not what I asked. So they're clearly being evasive about the issue. Well, I've not heard anyone uh, speak about it yet, but it seems like YouTube is uh, subtly clamping everyone's videos to 30 FPS after they finish streaming. Yeah, but anyway, guys, I'm going to have to go in it. I've gone on uh, longer than um, initially planned. I've gone on about two hours longer than I wanted to, and I, I really want to get some food. I'm hungry, so... Uh, Thanks, guys, uh, for dropping by, man. Even though some people were being a little bit rude and overstepping some serious lines, make crossing lines, habitually crossing lines like uh, Rick James, man. But anyway, man, uh, catch you guys later, man. Peace, laters.